Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about up down counter. Okay. Open the Siemens logo soft software. Okay. And now select the up down counter. Just drag down, go to counter, select up down counter and drag it here. Okay. So this is our up down counter. It will work as up counter and down counter as per our requirement. Okay. Right click on the block, select properties. So if you see, you can enter the block name. In your project, if you are having many counter blocks, okay, then you can assign the name of the block as per the requirement or as per the application or you can give generic block names like counter 1, counter 2, counter 3 like that. Okay, I will just enter counter and the next one is start value. By default when the PLC is powered on we can specify the start value of the counter. You can make you can leave the default value 0 or you can give some random value or as per your requirement. Okay. If you see this counter is having one output and three inputs. These inputs and output are digital. Okay. You can specify when we can turn on the counter output or when to turn off the counter output. Let's say when the counter is counting, when it reaches the value 5, I want the output to be on. Okay. And when the counter reaches value 8, I want the counter to turn off the output. Okay. This value is nothing but counting value. Okay. Click OK. Fine. Now take three inputs, digital inputs. Go to top, select input. Just select here. And double click on the block. Go to comment, write reset. OK. So this is our reset input. The counter is having three inputs. They are reset, count, direction. Take one more input. Okay. Double click. What I will do, I will change the input reset to I3. So it is easy for me to operate in the PLC because I3 is having toggle switch. Okay, you can use any input. And second one, I will use I1. Comment it as input pulses. Okay. Okay. I have to give it again. Reset. And I1 is input pulses. Take one more input. Assign I4. Comment is direction. So this input will decide whether the counter works as up counter or down counter. Okay.
take one more output. So connect input I3 with reset, input I1 with count, input I4 with direction. I'm just uh, moving these lines so we'll have better clarity, better visibility. Okay. Okay. Now we will download the program to the PLC. Okay. So this is our PLC. Go to tools, transfer, PC to logo. Select the IP address of PLC, click OK. Yes. Yes. So the program is downloaded into the PLC. Okay. Fine. Now go to online test mode. So click this icon here. Select the IP address. Click OK. Now the program is downloaded and we are online. Okay. If you don't have the PLC, just do the simulation by clicking the simulation button. Okay. Now, as per our logic, the output will be on when the count reaches value 5. Okay. So, let's see. I will press the input I1, 1. See, the counter value is updated. It is 1. One more. 2. See, the input must be a pulse. It has to change from 0 to 1, 0 to high, low to high. Okay. Then only the counter will be updated. Let's say I will continuously press the input I1. See, the counter only updated one time. The input is still on, I1 is still on because I pressed and hold. Okay. Again, releasing. One more time I will press. Counter reaches value 4. If I press one more time, then the output will be on because our setting is counter should be on when it reaches 5 or 5 plus. The counter is, counter value is 5 now. Output 1 is on. You see here and here. In logic, it is red color. That means on. In the real time, the PLC hardware, output 1 is on. Now I will press one more time, 6, output still on, 7, output still on because the condition is 5 plus. Either it has to reach value 5 and it has to be more than 5 also, the output will be on. Output will off when the count reaches value 8. See here, this is the 8. I will press one more time, the output will be off. Okay, got it. This is the condition. One more time I will press. The counter will function. Just the output value, the output either on or off depends on the condition. Okay, depends on our values 5 and 8 here. You can give your own values. Now, what I will do, I will press the input I4. I will give it, I will turn it on. Input I4 is on. This is the direction bit, right? It will decide whether counter works as up, down, up counter or down counter. Now, I will give input I1 again. See, 
the value is reducing here counting value is reducing because now it is working as down counter okay output is on because the value is 7 okay now what i will do i will turn off the i4 now it is up counter okay I will turn on the input i3 that means i am giving the reset output is zero okay the counting value is zero output is also off the reset is still on i will give pulses now see the counter is not working because the counter will function when the reset is off the reset is having the high priority okay when the reset is on remaining inputs it will not consider okay reset must be off okay so this is the up down counter and you can also go to the simulation by clicking the sim icon in simulation i will show you one uh, uh, setting for i1 just uh, right click go to properties go to simulation go to frequency enter 1h what i am doing is the simulation software will automatically give the pulses in the frequency mode okay we are doing that so in order to give the input pulses manually for testing purpose remember that okay only for testing see the counter value is increasing automatically because the input i1 we selected it as a frequency source that is why now what i will do i will turn on the input i4 that means we change the direction of the counting it is a down counter now the input pulses is there so it is automatically counting is happening i turn on the input i3 reset is on reset is having the high priority so the many functions will not work. See, the timers and counters we mainly use in our industrial process logics. Okay. If you have some experience in industries, share with us where you use the counter function. Okay. Applications or process scenarios with us. Okay. Thank you. I will meet you in the next session.